um, by names of St. Ong Damascus. And to be honest, um, I may not impress you so much in English, but I will try my best. Okay, and also, we have a local saying, so you never know, it's a trick for me to be the last. Okay, my presentation um, is all about uh, animated folk stories. Um, I'm an animator by professional, um, studying from Isabat University, Bachelors of uh, Science in Animation and Visual Effects. So, what are these animated short stories? These are folk stories who, which, which were being told to us by our elders, okay? Um, okay. Uh, those short stories were many, and I, what I know, in this, uh, in this region right now, over in this, um, in this region, people are tend to forget these stories because our parents, they don't have time uh, because of the work, the dues, the what. So they fail to give their children what they need through the stories. So we have different stories, but for now I'm going to teach about Nsanji. Nsanji is one of the stories they used to tell us, and most of us, we know it. And to prove that, let us sing this song from this uh, animation, okay, this story. And if you know, you join up with me just a little bit, okay? All right, one, two, three, go. Sanji, 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 mwana wange, wori merebele, zende genda na we, Sanji, gula wo. Sule ya kaloko, Sanji, gula wo. Sule ya kaloko. So, those stories are interesting to us, and also, personally, I love those stories. And what I'm thinking, uh, what I think is, if we continue to give a platform to these stories, for the next generation, uh, we are fighting the disintegration of our stories from the beginning. Okay, uh, within um, this session, I managed to make some, I managed to work on, the, on this project, and these are the characters I'm going to use in the story. Uh, there's Sanji Mom, the Mom, and Sanji, and also the monsters. Of, as they say, in every good story, there's a villain. Those are in the story. Uh, also, the purpose of, the, uh, uh, purpose of these folk stories are to revive and keep them alive for the next generation. As I said, uh, lit literature never dies. We all know that. And also to give generation the fun and edu educational stories. Like, my so like these short stories, they are going to be entertainment, okay? And also to encourage morals in young, gen like young people uh, and promote as well our character. Okay, the target audience is between, our main emphasis is between two to 12 years old. Yet we know, as we mature people, we do also enjoy. We do also enjoy animation. So, and those who miss the chance to know about them, I know and I believe they will know through this project. Um, our ask is, uh, this is the team I'm working with and uh, some stuff like that. So our ask is 30 million dollars. Oh, no, 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 30, 30, 30 thousand dollars. Why? Because uh, I'm going to create a team to help me to animate uh, the texturing and the part and everything. And the most part is going to be in marketing side so that most people uh, get to know these folk stories come to life. <laughs> 